<laughs> we had a soybeans trade close out yesterday. I'm uh, doing the review video today. Uh, we did place this uh, back on uh, February the 3rd. Uh, and based on my strategy, on uh, I was looking to close it around February the 24th, unless it hit my target before then. Obviously, it hit my target yesterday, so I was able to get out of this trade in 11 days. Used up, I had two contracts. I used up about uh, $4,000 worth of buying power. I made $164.54, which was a 4% uh, on risk, and then about 136% uh, annualized. You now here you can see that I made a note of why I picked the uh, strikes that I, I used in this particular trade. There was a trade before this one and I used this trade to bring the overall delta of the uh, soybean position back toward a zero and that's why I chose these particular strike prices. Uh, I don't <clears throat> I do skew my trades a little bit based on you know what the market's doing, uh, but overall I, you know, I start with that three delta and then I'll adjust based on what my other positions have. And uh, we'll take a look at the chart here. Uh, this is a weekly chart. Uh, I'm using Trading View on this one. Weekly charts I, I don't use on the strangles. I don't use quite as many in indicators as I do on my daily charts and my other trades. Uh, primarily, I'm just trying to find this overall trend. So if I want to skew the deltas a little bit then obviously I'm going to be looking toward more toward the long side so I would uh, you know move my uh, put up a little bit more maybe use a four or five delta and either a three or a two delta on the uh, call side if I wanted to make that adjustment I don't always do that uh, if it's if I'm clear with zero trades you know I try to get in at a zero delta um, if it's a strong trend like this is a, is a pretty strong trend uh, then I, I may go ahead and skew them in one direction or the other. And then I add a, these trades weekly. I t typically keep a maximum of three per futures contract, uh, whether it's gold or soybeans or oil. And uh, when I add the second and third week, I'll look back at what's still open, and then I might adjust the deltas based on that. But I do still look at the chart. You know, look at the support and resistance, try to make some determinations on where it might pull back to if it were to pull back. Uh, you know, have some Fibonacci levels run here. Just show me what support I might have on the downside if I did want to adjust those puts. Uh, overall, this trade worked great. Uh, it was part of one of the members' trades, so it was one that I put out. <clears throat> uh, worked out great. It hit the the uh, target I had in for it early. Uh, I'm really short on trades right now, so I'm trying to add some trades uh, like this week to get caught back up. Almost all my trades I either closed out or they closed out early. A couple I, I closed out that I shouldn't have, and that was a mistake that I made. I uh, just got uh, a little excited about the profit on them, went in and closed them out. Should have held them because now I don't have enough in, in the ladder that I use, uh, the weekly ladder, to keep these trades uh, so much income per week. And that's my goal. I'm looking for a certain level of income each week on these. Uh, and that's how and how much of my buying power is used. So I look at those two things. I look at how much income I'm trying to get per week to see if I'm on schedule for that. And then I look at how much my buy, buying power is being used. And, and I use that to determine these positions. Overall, it was a good trade. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.